<laughs> All right, y'all. We have been out and about and busy this morning. Well, today, because it's actually it's gonna be two o'clock. But um, Sheldon had a reevaluation with his uh, counselors, and then we went to the grocery store. Yeah, he had a bags going in the wind. Yeah, I can see some of them on this side, but yeah, I can't see in the middle part. But yeah, so sorry about that. I was finishing my signal. But yeah, I was supposed to vlog today, you guys, but I ended up waking up at like five something this morning, way earlier than supposed to for the appointment but um i've been experiencing some issues with my body which i told y'all that before but um uh, my mouth is better on this side this side is still hurting um but i can't eat on this side now but i'm still a little hesitant but um I've been experiencing some things, you guys, and I'm going to go ahead. I said I was going to wait for a whole separate vlog on what's been going on with me and my body, but yeah, I'm scratching my nose with the envelope. But um, I just, I'm going to go ahead and talk to y'all about it. My doctor's appointment is next week with my gyno. But, uh, let this one just a little bit because it's hot out here, y'all. But I've been experiencing some um, bleeding, like nonstop bleeding for the last, I would say it's been consistent for a month before that, the months before that, um, I would have some spotting here and there. Well, now it's gotten to the point where it's been every day, all day. Um, at first, it was almost like the spotting. It was very, very light. Um, almost to the point where it wouldn't get on my clothes. But when I wipe, you, you can see it on the tissue. Uh, but now, which I'm thinking right now, I'm actually on what's supposed to be my monthly. But it just, it's horrible. It's almost like how it was when I decided to go ahead and do the birth control shot was because it was real bad. Um, I'm talking heavy clotting, um, very, very heavy flow <laughs> and the cramps. Oh my God. The cramps were intense, insane, almost like unbelievable. Like, oh my god, am I dying? But um, it, it, it's real, real bad right now. And it has me to the point where I really don't be wanting to move or do nothing. Um, so, yeah, I ended up waking up early to some cramps and couldn't really lay back down and go to sleep, couldn't get comfortable. So, I decided to try to attempt to clean my house y'all and I got as far as taking the trash out from the kitchen and the bathroom and then I um I ran some dish water and y'all I got ready to stand there and do them dishes and my body said no ma'am then after that you know I had to fight to get him up and dress of course so, oh yeah, and also, before I had did all of that, I had um, fed and watered Max and uh, took him out for a little bit. <clears throat> but it's like anytime I go to do something or any kind of activity with my body, I'm experiencing a lot, a lot of pain. And what really made me want to talk about it was the fact that we were at the grocery store and like halfway through grocery shopping I started getting shortness of breath and um oh my hair looking bad my girl just messaged me and asked me if I wanted to retweet 
but I, <clears throat> I'm starting to get shortness of breath anytime I'm doing something, especially like standing up, moving around. Dang, he's still out here. But uh, yeah, standing up, moving around and stuff, just makes my, I just lose my breath very easily. And I know that's because I'm not active, <clears throat> so I don't have stamina right now. But, um, <clears throat> oh, but, um, yeah, I've been experiencing shortness of breath, um, dizzy spells. <clears throat> I've been very, very dizzy lately, and I know that <clears throat> back door, back door, back door. like right there um anytime i like cause any type of like strain i get shortness of breath um it is hot but it's like i've been i've i've never been like i've always been a sweater but never like how i am right now like <clears throat> just stepping outside i know it's hot out here but it's like with my body it's like extra it's more intense I'm talking like pouring down, sweating in my face area and stuff. It's, it's just really a lot going on. But, um, yeah, it, it's just, I don't know, you guys. I got a lot of positive things going on right now, but it's like I can't get past all the negative. It's almost like the negative just. They power washing the parking lot. Why? I don't know, but they are. But it, it's just, it's, it's very intense, you guys. And I don't know what's going on, but as soon as I know, I'm going to keep y'all updated. And I'm going to let y'all know, too, okay? But for now, no, why he ain't came back out here yet? See, y'all, that's what I be talking about right here. Cute though. Natural beauty. Mm. Natural thick beauty. Y'all look at my look at my knee. I just let the windows up, you guys. Just let them up. So I'ma go ahead and get off of here and take these groceries in. And um I don't know if we're gonna be doing anything else today. I might bring y'all along. We're going to probably be doing chili dogs for tonight. So, or for lunch, supper, whatever. But I'm going to talk to y'all in a little bit. I think my apartment manager is going to come talk to me. But all right, y'all. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Lynette's Life. I am, of course, yours truly, Lynette. Whoa. <laughs> you guys. Oh, my God. It's so freaking hot out here. My whole thing just fell. Oh my God. It completely separated. Hold on, you guys. I swear today is not my day. Okay, well, until it cools off, I'll put the other sticky pad on there later i'm gonna have to figure out how to get that off my windshield but i'm looking busted dusted and crusted it's 100 degrees out here no wonder it's six o'clock y'all and it's 100 degrees what is the actual physical um i'm going to the store real quick some cigarettes basically uh, and I just decided to just step out the house for a moment because I don't know what's going on with me you guys but I just can't seem to 
y'all way too far over there. First of all, like as if y'all can't be hitting that Dodge Charger. But anyway. Um, yeah, like I was saying, I just can't seem to pull it together. It's like every time I think I'm getting better and I just feel like everything's going to be okay. I know everything's going to be okay. There's nothing wrong with me other than I'm going through some health issues that I'm ready for answers and solutions to. Um... But last night, I was feeling kind of bad, and I ended up taking me some um, Tylenol and my blood pressure medicine. And um, I did a little heating pad to put on my forehead to stop my migraines. And um, I don't know, like I started feeling better, but then this morning I woke up and like, it just seemed like everything just was piled on fussing at the dog because some stuff he got into and he doing um fussing at my child because it's like I just can't seem to get it through his head about cleanliness and stuff and then you got to fussing at him and stuff and calling him out on his bull and it's like then he gets to whining and like he don't understand why I'm fussing but I'm telling him why I'm fussing but he don't see no wrong in it and even though I know a lot of it is due to the autism and stuff like that but at the same time it just be like okay but And I'm just feeling like it's a lot. Um, I just feel like I'm stuck right now, you guys. Really, really stuck. So many job offers, so many places I can go to work right now where it won't require much of me to get in the positions, but it's like, I'm having a hard time putting my finger on what exactly I want to do. I know I want to help people. I know I want to make an impact. Hold on, y'all. I know I want to make an impact in the world and stuff. But, I don't know. I'm just, I can't figure out exactly what I want to do. I want to work with people, but then I don't. I'm just at a loss right now. And even though there's a lot of things I could be doing, I just feel like it's becoming really, really hard to do it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm on here looking real rich. I ain't got nobody bra on. It's really hot out here. Oh, well, the temperature went down three degrees. Still feels the same. Um, I am over being sick. Pretty much, you know, as far as like the sinuses and allergies. But I'm still dealing with the rest of the boo. So. And then I'll oh, update about my gyno appointment. Hold on, y'all. Let's show the calling. Show y'all how I've been in a funk. I literally left the house and didn't say nothing. I just been on a I'm not talking to y'all today type binge. Like, even Max. <laughs> like, Max been on the other side of the living room the whole day. He ain't been bothered with me because he, he like, you just on a rampage right now and I don't feel like dealing with that. But, um, yeah, I just, because when I woke up, like, I was telling Shona some things that he needed to do for Max and, like, the attitude just ensued. So I was just like, you know what? 
my blood pressure was like 180 something over 150 something my heart rate was 114 or 150 somewhere up in there i'm like i got enough going on right now that i can't spend my entire day trying to get my blood pressure down get the migraines to a minimum and fuss at y'all all day You know what I'm saying? So, y'all know I don't drink that much and stuff, but I'm sitting here looking at this this list that they have up here, and I'm like, should I give me a side of drink? Just something little. I ain't gonna get nothing too, too big. I just need something to knock the edge off, y'all. No. Uh, let me get a. Ooh, a 16 ounce yeah let me get a, six, a 16 ounce vodka freeze and a pack of Kumail 100s a pack of Pomo 100s? Kumail Kumail 100s mm -hmm. and then a medium vodka freeze? yeah we don't have vodka freeze we have like a lemonade in stock now. I don't want a lemonade mm. just do the uh, cigarettes the what? The cigarettes. Just the cool ones? Yeah. Okay. Is that it? Mm -hmm. 100. Hundreds? Yeah. I know you guys saw my face. I got easily annoyed just then because I come here often to see my cigarettes. So she must be new or they must be doing today where they have to ask you for your ID. Because I ain't never had to get no ID here. The fuck? Hell, the people they hire here barely be old enough to sell you the shit in the first goddamn place. So you got the nerve to ask me for my ID? But anyway, that's just because I'm in an annoyed state right now. Because y'all know any other time I wouldn't be bothered by it. But... What was I saying? Oh, yeah. I was talking about how I couldn't be spending my day all day trying to do all that. Plus fussing and stuff. But I texted my mom and I told her that soon I'm going to need a mental health day because I'm falling apart, y'all. You ever been in that, that, that point in your life where you feel like, damn, nothing in my life is going right. I can't get a man to save my life. Well, it ain't that I can't get a man. I'm just not willing to settle for just anything. Oh, shit. Hold on, y'all. Anyway, y'all, uh, as y'all can see, I'm not getting a drink, but maybe that was just God telling me I didn't need it. Um, I didn't know that they were different. Me either, but when I read That's weird. you guys if you're a smoker out there and you smoke cools the blue pack is 55 cents more <laughs> I don't know wait is it because you got a I mean I don't is it because of the color it ain't more away. I don't know same goddamn cigarettes just a little different these have a more mintier smoother taste but okay Anywho, that was interesting. But um, yeah, so I'm just like really going through a lot in my mental. Um, what else? I was telling y'all about my gynecologist. Okay, so as y'all know, a couple of months back, I received a letter and email and all of that about how my gyno was leaving the um 
the clinic or whatever that I was going to hospital, whatever you want to call it. Um, she was leaving, so they would be bringing in someone new. So basically, they were like, contact us if you want to switch your doctors, and that way we can get your paperwork and stuff like that, your files and all that, sent over to wherever you, you want to go, you know, transfer to wherever you want to go. Or to call, you know, but that's all it was. It wasn't like, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like they were saying, um, you know, if you want to keep the doctor, if you want to keep your appointments that already have been scheduled to call and let us know. Then it never said that. It never said to call and confirm whether or not you want. So obviously if I didn't call and cancel my, my or confirm it, when it got closer to the date, I got an email, I got a, uh, yeah, an email and a text message asking me to confirm my appointment, which was supposed to be on the 20th, right? So I did. I pressed Y for yes, and I even went into my email, and I went on there, and I clicked to confirm that I was going. Well, yesterday, while I'm at Sheldon's doctor's appointment, was it yesterday? Whenever we went, y'all, to Sheldon's doctor's appointment, um, that was Thursday. I'm on out here, that was Thursday. So on Thursday, while I was at the doctor with Sheldon, they called me and they were like um basically due to excuse me due to the doctor that I was originally under being you know leaving or have left that um that appointment was no longer upstanding and um they wanted me to choose which one of the other doctors I wanted to switch to that was that's there now. And I was like, ma'am, I don't know. I was like, I didn't even know I needed to call to see if my appointment was still. I said, y'all sent me a message, a text message and an email telling me to confirm the 20th. And she's like, yeah, you know, whatever excuse that she had. And I'm like, that's not right. I said, because I've been waiting a whole year for the 20th and I was like honestly I really need to get in and I was praying and hoping that you know the 20th was upstanding because I'm trying to get in there as soon as I possibly can because I have some things going on with my body right now that I don't understand what's going on and she was like well um one of the doctors is a woman one is a man so she was like well I could get you in with the male doctor, she said his name, but she didn't say male doctor, but judging by the name, it was a male. You know what I'm saying? So, she was like, I can get you in with this doctor. The earliest I can get you in with him is the 27th. And I'm like, okay. At first, I was about to get pissed off, but then I was like, okay, Charlene, that's just seven more days. You can hold out seven more days. I pray to God we can hold out seven more days. Lord Jesus, please let us hold out for seven more days. But, um... I was like, because she kept asking, she kept wanting me to pick which one. I was like, ma'am, how can I pick a doctor between the two? You're giving me these two people. You're telling me I can get in earlier with the mail. I'm telling you I need to get in as soon as possible. So obviously that I'm just going to have to deal with that, right? But you're telling me to choose. I'm like, I don't know either one of them. So how, how can I choose which one I want to see if I don't know them? You know what I'm saying? Even when it came to like Ingles, my, my my original doctor, I didn't know that lady, but it was because of the situation with my abscess on my ovary and tube. She was brought in. That's how I met her. We bonded through that experience because I got familiar with her because I feel like she was part of the team that saved my life, you guys. You see what I'm saying? There, there's a connection there, and that's why I was okay with continuing my womanly my womanly journey with her. You get what I'm saying, you guys? I'm sorry I'm getting emotional, but 
I know that sometimes when it comes to doctors, they, they do things based off of the best for them. But it's hard when you're somebody like me who had a, a, a life and death situation and you, you connect with somebody because of the work they put in for you and then for them to just be gone like that, you know, not dead, but to be gone and then you have to be left with trying to figure out who to go to because you you trusted that person that person got you to this point and it's like i don't like change y'all sorry i'm getting emotional but I, i've been really emotional lately y'all know that i got play you ain't caught up go catch up i got plenty of videos where i'm crying if you like to see people crying I'm, um not the type of person who likes to cry, but it it just comes. It comes, and I can't control it. And especially when I'm in a vulnerable state like I am right now, I'm very emotional. Um, but it's just hard because now I'm put in a situation. Like, I was telling my mom the other day when I was talking to her about it and stuff, I was like, you know, I have an issue... when it comes to certain things like okay going to the gynecologist yeah they're qualified to be a gynecologist they went to school for it right but i just take up an issue with a male gyno like i don't care how good he is i have an issue with that because of the simple fact that i don't want no man down there telling me about my body as a woman you know what i'm saying he got to be all up in there especially like sometimes y'all i don't know i'm talking to the ladies sometimes when you go to your gynecologist you be on your period you know what i'm saying so when you have a female doctor it's like girl i'm flowing down now you sure you want and she be like girl i had the same thing remember you know it, it, it's more personable it's more like okay she understands so i'm finna gap it open girl see it all you know what I'm saying? But then when it comes to a male, even though the men doctors, they've seen it all before because that's what they do. But I just feel uncomfortable with that. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I'm going to the doctor to find a man, a date or whatever, but it just makes me uncomfortable to be in that position. And it also, here's, here's another insight on Charlene, you guys. I'm going to let Charlene know. I was more open with her. I would tell her the, the things that were going on with my body. Like when I first started noticing that I was bleeding and stuff after the shot and stuff, you know, I explained that to her and she was like, okay, you know, that's normal. As long as it's not heavy, heavy and stuff like that, it, it'll come and go like that. But now I got to go in here with this man with this new issue and I got to tell this man that I have been bleeding for a month. Hell, probably longer than a month. Isn't that a thing? Hey y'all, it's the next day. <clears throat> Sorry, I got cut off because it was so hot out here that my phone overheated. So when I got in the house to let it cool off, by the time it cooled off, y'all, I just wasn't even in the mood to pick the phone back up to finish recording. But as I was saying, I think I left off talking about the male doctor and stuff, and I was saying about how you know awkward it feels sorry y'all this thing i still ain't put the other one up but um you know now i got to go in there and explain to this man that i've been bleeding for all this time and it's just a whole lot of whole lot of but i'll get over my anxiety i have to for the sake of my health of course but anywho to get off of that subject we are on our way to church. As y'all can see, I got on my pink pee in the bag. You put Max in this kennel? Yeah. Good, good. You put Max in the kennel. So, yeah. I guess I, I'll let y'all a little bit later. I don't have too much on the agenda today. Just going to church. Um, it ain't as hot as it was yesterday, but it's still hot, y'all. No cap. I'm finna go ahead and let this window, these windows down so we don't overheat in this car. See y'all in a little bit, my chance. Hey, y'all. Uh, 
I don't know where I left off at in the um, previous clips. I've been scatter recording or whatever. So I don't know what all I haven't told y'all, but um, today we are headed to, hold on y'all. Here go y'all boy, or y'all boys. Y'all see how big Max got? He's a big boy. He's my baby. Look at him. Look at him. He's so big. Look, he see me, y'all. <laughs> he see me. He finna get shut in here. <laughs> he about to get shut in here. He shut finna put him in that kennel, too. Oh, he saw me out here. He like, uh-uh, mama, I said, what you doing? But anywho, um, currently finna take Sheldon to his doctor's appointment because it's time to get back on schedule, you guys. I gave him his break for the summer and they go back to school on the 8th, I believe, or something like that. So yeah, um, that's what we got going on, getting him back right. Uh, I pretty much have him all caught up. The only thing... <clears throat> Then I think he has this, his dentist appointment coming up. Well, that's like in a couple of months. Um, my next dentist, my next dentist appointment is on the 30th. And then um, I go get my crown and then we're going to discuss what we're going to do about this side of my mouth. But on the 27th, I go for my yearly and I will be taking you guys along for that. And um, I think that's everything for now. I think we got all the appointments caught up. So, yeah. I don't know why I'm putting on lotion. Well, yeah, I do. My hands are kind of sticky from that stuff I put on my hair. <sighs> After I washed it. Because I'm trying to get it done sometime this week. What is taking him so long? Y'all, let me call the boy and see what's taking him so long. He got us late because he woke up procrastinating this morning. I be big. There y'all, boy, go. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I'm trying to get rid of this fly. But he don't want to go nowhere. You ready? Oh, he get this appointment over with. What was, oh, boy, I'm about to jump out of this car. He don't care, y'all. Ooh, I'm blurred out. Look at them two. Up to no good. <sighs> but anyway, y'all, I am starting to get back in a better mental state in place. Um, I'm slowly starting to let go of certain things that are out of my control. Y'all would be so proud of me. I've gotten rid of all the toxic people in my life. I'm talking females, males, friends, dudes. I thought I had something with, you know? Like, if it ain't about Charlene, Sheldon, and Max, and of course, you know, the friends that I do food with and my parents, my brother, you know, y'all know, besides all of them, I'm talking as far as my household, it ain't got nothing to do with it. Because 
is I feel like when I stopped recording, even though I needed that break, when I need it so far, I don't. Bending to y'all and talking to y'all every day was helping me. And I gotta stop letting the devil come in and take away what's mine. That's the message today. Don't let the devil take away what's yours, okay? Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. Anyway, y'all already know. Ain't no AC in the car, so. Bless you. So I'm about to, uh. Oh, this car's slow. They hold up my process. I'm about to go ahead and turn y'all off so I can catch these cool breeze and it won't be all up in y'all ears. I'm sounding a little stuffy, so I'm not right. <clears throat> Cause I just got over being sick. But too. You're not good enough. Got the million of the same stuff. I I keep forgetting the words because part of it has a bad word in it. So I'm not gonna sing it. So why would you sing that then? Because it just popped out. Boy, I'm talking about what this girl just said. Oh. There's a million other people with the same stuff. Nah, nah, I don't want to hear anymore. All this other stuff, blah, blah. I make him rap, but I can't rap that good. Nah, nah, I don't want to hear it anymore. Well, maybe you should stick to singing. Baby, let me tell you something. I don't need to stick with rapping because I'm already good at rapping. Yeah. What can I say? But you're welcome. <laughs> right, that's what I was going to say. I just remembered what can I say? You're welcome. <laughs> I just remembered that part and knew exactly what you were saying. Nobody, nobody can take me down. Nobody, nobody. Rochelle is working. 